Hello, I'm Mark Goldbridge and this is the Kit Locker shirt review show. I'm going to start off with this lovely tangerine Palmer's FC. Um, I feel a bit Scottish. Oh, he's left it. Oh my God. He's Scottish. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> oh my God. I'm thinking Iron Brew, Dundee United. I mean, if orange is your thing, it's not a bad kit. Um, not sure it would be for me, but I mean, I'd give it a, I'd give it a strong seven out of 10. If you don't like orange, probably a two, but uh, not bad, not bad. Next one, we've got MK Dons, sorry, no, FC Dons. FC Dons. FC Dons. Bruh. FC Dons, which is, it's nice. It's nice. See, nice is not a good word, is it? Nice is not a good word. When you say something's nice, you're not really committing. I would say it's nice, but it's not as nice as our kit, United Stand FC, which is not nice, which is elite. So it's, it's a nice kit. It's sort of, uh, it's, a, it's a League One United Stand FC kit, I would, I would say, with that one. Now this one I do like. It would not suit my complexion, as, as you can tell. But um, this is their, this is another SC Dons kit, which I do like. Green or lemon, not lemon, lime. Um, I like them. I do like their badge as well. It sort of reminds me a bit of Hull City. I don't know whether they've gone for that look, but. Yeah, I'd give that a strong eight out of 10. I do like it. It would never suit me. And I like the little thing on the back, but. I like that one, I do like that one. So this is Sporting Club de Mondial. Um, it reminds me of a bit of a, ma well, we're gonna do a mashup of Celtic and Rangers. And to be honest with you, it reminds me a bit of a, of a with the badge looks a bit like Rangers and the kit looks a little bit, a bit like Celtic. But yeah, I'd give it an average, it's not, it's not really appealing to me, to be honest. It's, it's, it's not, I prefer the lime to this green. Um, so yeah, five out of 10, move along, move along with that one. Okay, the next one is Kit Locker FC. Which, I'm undecided on this one. I'm undecided. I think it's, it's, it's on the verge of being a great kit. It's, um, I like Juventus and it's got themes of Juventus with it, but it's a probably edging a little bit more to Spurs and, and a bit too white. If had a, I'd say if it just had a little bit more black on it, maybe on the, on the shoulders, that would be a very, very nice kit, but I'd give it a six. Nice, but probably a little bit too white. I'd like a little bit more black, go a little bit more Juventus with that one. I know this one, XOFC. Um, I can't say too much bad about this because True Geordie, I've met him, he's a big bloke, but um, it's um, obviously it's the Newcastle theme, um, the black and white. I don't think of Juventus with this, I think of Newcastle because I know it's uh, XO. Um, it suits their brand very, very well. It's a nice kit, I've said nice again. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not doing loads for me, but I mean, basically it's a Newcastle kit for True Geordie's team, isn't it, at the end of the day? And I'll give it a seven out of 10 just because I don't want to get uh, beat up. What about, that? what about the badge, Mark? The badge, the badge, um, I like the badge. Again, it's not as good as the United Stand badge, what is, but I think they've, I, I do like their whole uh, XO thing. I think it was very, very clever. And I do like the way the badge works on the emblem. Sort of jumps out at you a little bit, doesn't it? So, no, I, I like that one. I like the badge. That's okay, so the next kit I'm looking at is, uh, it's, it's abysmal. It, it's, um, it's an insult to football kits, which have been running around for years and years and years. It's the Manchester City mashup kit. My issue with this is, um, I just don't get it. Why I, I can't believe they would want people to spend money, but I suppose the good thing is nobody will spend money because they haven't got any fans. But they wear light blue and they've basically, I mean, it's not even vomit. It's like, God knows what it is. It's like, it's a mixture of, 
I mean, what's the green? I presume they had a green kit at some point. The, the red, the light, I mean, it's, it's just absolutely horrible. And I, I don't get why they've done it anyway, because you've only been around for 10 years. And I, I, I just think it's absolutely abhorrent. And I think the only saving thing, so the only saving grace is nobody will buy it anyway, because they don't have any fans. It's 70, 75 pounds, breaking news, 75 pounds to basically get beat up in the streets for wearing an absolutely terrible shirt. But, you know, there will be somebody who wears it. Um, I think Full Kit Wang was named specifically for this shirt. You don't need the shorts or the socks, just put the top on. Awful, absolutely awful. Next. So the next one is, is a mashup kit for Kit Locker for Neat. Um, I mean, I, I like the simplicity on this. I do like black kits. I really like the fact that it's a Nike kit and you can't really see the Nike thing that well. It, it, I, I like that. I like the minimalistic element to it. And then you've got the, the jump out sort of lime or lemon or green color that's jumping out at you. Um, nice. I mean, I wouldn't go as far as I'd wear it on a night out to a club, but it has got that classy feel to it. So I, I like that one. Let's move on. Okay, so the next kit we're gonna look at is the French Centenary kit. Um, unfortunately, there's a negative for me because I, I can't imagine Pogba in it. I'm picturing Griezmann and he just winds me up, which is a negative straight away. But if I force my brain to think of Paul Pogba in it, I like it again. It's, it's minimalistic, it's, you know, the, the Nike badge is blue like the shirt, which I like. You've got the traditional French flag, you've got the, the, the nice uh, sort of polo collar. So the next one, um, again, I mean, it's pushing Man City, but AFC B-Dale, um, which is basically a goalkeeper's kit that looks like a hot dog and the home kit that looks like, well, I'm gonna say sausages because I'm not gonna be rude, but it basically says a lot about that kit because you are gonna look a bit of a sausage in it. Um, just absolutely terrible. I mean, who wears a kit that's got a sausage with mustard and tomato ketchup on it? I mean. I'm all for a bit of a laugh, but there's a thin line between having a laugh and looking a prat. And that kit, you better be good at football to wear that kit is all I'm going to say, because if you ain't delivering it on the pitch, you're banned to FC straight away. So absolutely vile. Doesn't even make me feel hungry. Yeah, so the next one is a mashup of Celtic and Rangers. It's £175. Um, why is the first thing that comes to mind. You know, Celtic and Rangers, let's not get into the politics and religious elements with this. Um, I, I cannot imagine anybody in Ireland or Scotland wearing this kit without having to do it in a cupboard in their basement. You, you could literally not walk around wearing this kit. And to pay £175 to sit in a cupboard and do that, they're mad. But what I don't get is the red. You've got a little bit of blue on the front, on the back there's more, you've got the Celtic bit on, on the other side, but there's a load of red on there. And I, I just, is that the blood you're gonna get pouring out your face if you wear it in public? It's just ridiculous. I just don't, I, I just don't get that. It would be like having a Manchester United and Liverpool mashup kit. You would just never do it. Having said that, there'll be somebody in the world, more than one, who wears this kit. Um, but again, if that's, that's there with, it's not as bad as the Man City kit, it's just a big, big why from me. Why would you do it? And 175 quid as well. And our final kit, we've saved the best till last, some would say, is a Manchester United kit, which I believe was done by FIFA, as um, it's the leopard print kit. Now, I tweeted about this saying I didn't like it because if I looked, if I put that on, somebody would think I was going to fancy dress as a tiger. As a tiger. I think I'd have to have a, a packet of Frosties or something. But Flex really likes it and I actually bought him it for his birthday and he looks very, very good in it. So I think it's one of those shirts that effectively, some people are gonna look good in it, some people aren't. Um, not for me, not for me, um, but it's, it's interesting, which is my way of saying I don't really like it. But um, look, it's not as bad as that Man City mashup, is it? So uh, we can all sleep easy tonight, but not bad. Um, and Flex likes it.